Okay, right now, if you see, the volume is set to about 20%, the brightness to about 20%, and auto rotation is turned off. But now, as soon as I launch YouTube, the brightness goes up, and if you look at my media volume, that is set to 100%, and auto rotation is turned on. So that's what I need for YouTube. But as soon as I go out of YouTube, the brightness goes right back, the media volume goes right back, and even auto rotation is turned off. So the app that lets you do all of this is called Adaptive Controls, and it basically allows you to set system settings on a per app basis. And if I show you my settings for the YouTube app, you can see that, you know, the brightness was set to about 70%, auto rotation turned on, and auto brightness was turned off. And you can do it for any app. Click on plus, let's search for Gmail, and then I can set what happens when I open Gmail. So what should be the brightness? What should be the media volume? Should auto rotation be turned off? Should I turn on D&D &D so that I'm not bothered when I'm reading emails? And you can do all of that over here and it would just follow it. And just in case, despite giving all permissions, if the app doesn't work, go back into accessibility settings, go into adaptive control service, just turn it off and then turn it back on again. It could be a bug that they fix, but that worked for me. Next, if you're looking forward to getting the Dynamic Island functionality on your phone, you can now. The app, which is obviously called Dynamic Island, will sort of help you get the functionality for free. So let's say I put my phone on charging, I can see that tiny blob, I can long press on it, and I can see the battery percentage. If I'm playing music, I can long press to change controls, like play pause and go forward or backward, or I can just tap on it to get back into music. I can even set this up for timers. So let's say I put up a one minute timer, and I go out, and there you go. Long press on it, and I can cancel or pause. Not surprisingly, it is called Dynamic Island in the Play Store, and you can also go into the app and enable two pop-ups. So that way, if you're playing music and you decide to use maps for navigation, both can work at the same time. So let's say I'm already listening to music, click on navigation, go back onto the home screen, and now you'll see there are two pop-ups at the top, and I can interact with either of them. So I tap on music, and then I can tap on navigation and I can just shuffle between them just the way it works on iPhone. Now you can set up for which apps the Dynamic Island should work and shouldn't work. And if you get the premium version, you do get more functionalities, but it's not really required. So yeah. And before we move on, if you're enjoying these apps, consider liking the video, subscribing to the channel and hitting that bell notification icon supports me a lot. Let's move on. Now, if you're enjoying these home screen setups, you're going to want to get these widgets. And these widgets are from this app called Apple for KWGT. I featured this in the past in my home screen setups, but never in my top apps video. And they are beautifully designed. And there's like over a hundred of these over here. Uh, you've got multiple kinds of music widgets, weather widgets, app shortcuts, date and time widgets, calendar widgets, clock widgets, and both digital and analog. And there are combination widgets too. So you can just pick and dump them on your home screen in case you don't want to experiment too much. Just look at these ones. They're really nice and big, take up more than half of your screen, and you really don't have to do much. And I do have promo codes to give away for this app, so you might want to stick to the end to know how to get them. This next one is again about getting iPhone aesthetics on your Android, but you know, the iPhones just came out, iOS 16 is out, and I thought a lot of you might be interested in getting that look on your phone. So this one gets the iOS control center on your phone, works flawlessly, very smooth, gives you shortcuts to the most frequently used things. You can open the camera, you can take a screenshot, you can take a screen recording, and all of that is customizable. So if you go into the app, go into custom controls, and over here, you can reorder them, and you can pretty much add any app as a shortcut in the control center. And up to this point, you can do everything for free. But if you do get the premium version, it'll let you change the trigger position and even allow you to configure what happens when you tap or double tap or long press the trigger area. Next is Pix Wallpapers, and it's a very different wallpaper app. And you can tell by these wallpapers that you would have probably not seen them anywhere. The best part is they're super crisp and very high resolution. There are also many categories in here to explore from, so you really won't get bored. You could pretty much apply a new wallpaper every day and not run out for almost the entire year. My favorite is actually from the nature set, which I think is really cool. And it's got like a morning wallpaper and the night wallpaper or like a light wallpaper and a corresponding dark wallpaper. So you can keep switching between them uh, as it goes from day to night. Also, I think summer fun is an amazing category. I mean, just look at these wallpapers, so fresh, vibrant and colorful. But yeah, just 
go ahead and download the app. It's completely free. And these wallpapers are really good, guys. I mean, just apply them on your phone and you'll see what I'm talking about. Okay, and that's pretty much it, guys. Those were the apps for the month of October 2022. Now, I do have 30 promo codes to give away to you guys for Apple, for KWGT. And all you've got to do is subscribe to my YouTube channel, follow me on Instagram and DM me there asking me for promo codes for Apple, for KWGT. I'll hand them over to you first come first serve basis. Thanks for watching guys. I hope you enjoyed watching the video. And if you did, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe to the channel and hit that bell notification icon and mark all. I'll see you guys in the next one.